Women's World Cup is the global showcase for female footballers and Canada, including one of the host cities, Montreal, promises to put on something special in June and July. But will increasing the number of competing teams from 16 to 24 improve the quality of play? I have a good feeling that even the new teams will do pretty well. We're not where we were at like 20 years ago. You will see a couple more blowouts at this tournament than we've seen in the past. But if you're not letting these nations get to the tournament, it's so much harder to develop. Three times as many teams tried to qualify for this World Cup than when it began back in 1991. But what legacy can this tournament leave for Canada and the game worldwide? Now little girls will get to watch. This become tangible, right? When you watch them on television, it's different to be in a stadium where you can get to see them play. It helped the casual fan understand the game a little bit better and change this from uh, just strictly uh, being a hockey country to maybe being a soccer country as well. I think the legacy of this will not only be interest in the sport, but I think the growing of a fan base that can translate into not only club success, but, but professional success for young women who are watching soccer right now. Across all 52 matches, keep up to date with the Women's World Cup with me, Sarah Mulkerns, on BBC World News, the global home of football.